Tonight's COVID-19 vaccine question is something more than a few viewers have wondered. Should you get your vaccine before or after surgery? I asked Dr. Steve Fagans of Mercy Health in Hamilton County Public Health. We certainly recommend the sooner you can get the vaccine, the better. Um, however, we do recommend if you are um, having surgery to, to, to wait at least 72 hours after the vaccine for an elective surgery. And then that's just to avoid any potential side effects of the vaccine with something that may be associated with surgery. And so we typically um, say at least three days. I think most surgeons would like to have uh, approaching a week or so, but just to avoid any kind of confusion with um, the surgery itself and, um, and the side effects of the vaccine. Are there complications that can develop if you've had anesthesia and then you try to get the vaccine too soon? Yeah, and so there can definitely be some um, complications with surgery itself, um, as well as the anesthesia associated with that. And they can kind of mirror and, and, and look like you're um, not sure, is this a surgical complication or a vaccine complication? And so like anything else, it takes about three days for anything to kind of get out of your system. And so waiting at least three days after the surgery to get the vaccine is very helpful. Why isn't it something that they ask you about when you go to get your shot? Have you had surgery in the last few days? You know, Chris, that's a great, great point. As, 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 we, as we go forward and we, we learn more, um, that's not a bad thing to, to add to the, to the list. <laughs> And those questions you get before the vaccine are actually rooted in CDC guidelines. Dr. Fagans isn't the only one to recommend putting some time between the vaccine and surgery or surgery and the vaccine. The Mayo Clinic says, quote, it's ideal if you can allow about a week between being vaccinated for COVID-19 and surgery, especially for the second dose.